Hey guys, welcome back to another Red Beard Outdoors episode. Today we are going to go over the Red Setter Fall National. Uh, I've kind of been holding off to do this video, but I figured it was finally time. As you uh, know, for those of you who follow the channel, we've had a really good season in 2019. But this one's kind of more of a uh, behind the scenes deal, and I'm going to show you how things can go wrong. And it'll be a little bit different video than what you guys are used to with the dogs usually doing well. So here is how the red setter went down. First up will be Reason, and this is her performance. Let's check it out. All right, Reason, let's do this. Huh? Let's do this, huh? First up right here, reasons on point up here in these trees to the left. And the uh, you can see the gallery and the judges up there to the right. And the road veers off to the right. And so they're way ahead of reason at this point. And as I ride up right here, I can see birds going out the back. She's holding her point, but at this point, um, I know I need to move her on. So, uh, I reach out to Kelly and have her- Kelly, call her. Kind of try to pull Reason out and pull her forward, which she will here eventually. It's not like Reason did anything wrong here. Kelly! It's just that the uh, judges and gallery are so far away at this point. Kelly, call her! Call her! I don't want to call them back. So the reason knows the birds left and finally she moved on and went forward here. Unfortunately, she went on point again. She found another cubby right here. The gallery's still way forward. But I'll go ahead and call point right here. She's on, she's on point, she's on point. A lot of the stuff is muted out because I do not want to air what went down on YouTube. So, Point! Point! Billy yells out point really loud and tries to get the judge back here. She's not too happy with me, but. She doesn't know what took place back there and and uh, we got reason off of that last covey and onto this next one and and uh, get a productive bird find right here. As a scout, I should have never had reason back that far, but I was doing what I could with what I had, so I um, had to get her to the front, and unfortunately, you know, the gallery doesn't stop, and they just keep going along with the other handler that it, you're braced with, so all you can do is catch up at this point, which we did. These grounds are pretty difficult. Um, a lot of pinch points, not a whole lot of spaces to uh, let your dog run and really showcase them. Kind of like what we had at Boonville. We've never uh, ran here before, so the reason's not familiar with the course. And another instance right here is uh, 
she found a gate and it was opened to the highway, which was not a good thing. So next we struggle with getting her back through the fence and back onto the course. Uh, needless to say, things did not go well here at all. We uh, kind of quit worrying about the field trial at this point and was really trying to get her off of that blacktop in case a car was coming. So here in a little bit, we're going to find an opening in the fence and try to get her to go through it. We are also getting really far behind again. It's never good to come from behind. So, needless to say, the handler's not happy again. And uh, this was another how things can go bad moment. So I go ahead and I take the dog forward while Kelly gets her stuff together back there. Get her back to the front and catch back up. course we had to uh, loop around and go back through an area we already came back through which I feel for reason the dog that that was very confusing to her because we've never done that before um, loop back looping back on a course like that's kind of a kind of a weird scenario so it's so pretty much right now we're back to where Reason had our first bird find not too far from here and we're heading a different direction from that now getting her some water it got pretty hot that day it's in the 70s mid 70s probably and uh, this is way into the course we're probably at the 40 minute mark at this this point and uh, she happens to have another bird find coming up here in a sec let's watch it Kelly, you see reason? Okay. So yeah, that's pretty much it for Reason's Brace right there. Um, really difficult course. Um, I feel like a lot of dogs struggled with it and not very much bird work took place. But uh, the ones that did win were, were very deserving and um, definitely deserved first and second the way that it was given out. So. Here is placements and how that went down. And then after that, uh, we'll switch over to the puppies. Black's in the runner up this year is uh, Comeback Trumps. All right. Hey. 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 
All right, guys, first up is Griffin, and he uh, found some old scent right here, and then saw Kelly get off her horse, and then he got real excited and ran, and there was no birds right there. So, he overall, he ran pretty big, but he kind of was in play mode and really wasn't working very hard, so... He did all right, but um, I don't think he did the best that he has performed at events before. So right here we come to a big open field and um, we really get to see Kate. We really get to see him showcase his running skills right here. That's it for Griffin. Next up, we have uh, Breeze right here, and uh, she probably did the worst out of the three pups. Um, she was in play mode and didn't really know what was going on, and unfortunately, this course didn't have hardly any birds on it. Uh, in fact, not really, like pretty much no birds. There's only one dog that found birds, so... You're going to see that here in a little bit with Duck, but she was really squirrely, and uh, I don't know. This wasn't very exciting. It was like watching paint dry, so. Let's move on to duck uh, right there. What just happened was there was birds in that wagon, that dog wagon, and uh, duck found the scent and went after it, which was kind of an unfortunate scenario. But back to the spot where Griffin had bird, no bird work, where old scent was, and he kind of smelled it too, but he didn't stick around on it for too long. Um, he ran pretty big in this field and we were pretty happy about that and here in a sec Kelly's um, bringing him down this line right here and he actually runs into bird work about right here he was the only dog that found birds and we were really happy about that and he didn't want to leave him. He didn't want to move forward because he knew there were birds there. So he circled back and came to uh, come check him out. Duck! Duck! Keep calling him. Duck. Duck. So overall, Kelly was uh, pretty happy with Duck's performance right here and thought he did a really good job. And we were thinking maybe a first place was in order right here, but uh, he didn't get a placement and 
Griffin did, ended up getting second. So let's roll placements right here and check it out. All right, do the bitch again. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, one of those that would be good. Right. Now we gotta have somebody else take a picture, so <laughs> we can Play put our dogs up there. Hey, you need to. All right, that's gonna do it for today's episode, guys. Uh, this kind of gave you the uh, backside to field trialing, um, the negative side where you know you have those off days, which tends to happen quite a bit. No, God, please, no, no, no! Your dog's an animal, and they're gonna wanna do what they wanna do sometimes, but we train them hard to uh, try to get them not to do that. But just thought I'd show you the, the backside to uh, field trying that you probably don't see very much. So, hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. And I will see you on the next Redbeard Outdoors episode. Remember, get outdoors and keep field trialing. I'll catch you guys later.